Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the ratio test, which is a way to determine if an infinite series converges or diverges. Uh, it's my favorite of the series tests to use, and I often refer to it as the best test ever. So let's see what the ratio test tells us. So the ratio test says that if we are given a summation of A sub n, so we're given a series, and what we first do is we um, let rho, which is a Greek letter, so let rho equal the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. So that absolute value is really important. It means that um, to use a ratio test, you don't need to have a positive term series, which is true for a lot of the other tests that we know. Um, so we're going to calculate rho limit as n approaches infinity, the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. There are actually three things that can happen when you calculate rho. So uh, the first thing is rho could be less than 1. If rho is less than 1, then the summation, uh, or the series I should say, converges. If rho is greater than 1, then the series diverges. And then the third option is that rho is actually equal to 1, in which case the test is inconclusive and you have to try a different test. Um, so you might notice that the first two conditions are really similar to the geometric series test, um, in which if r is less than 1, converges. If r is greater than 1, diverges. So that can help you to memorize that or to remember it. Um, and this inconclusive thing, it's useful to know that that will always happen if you try to use the ratio test on something that looks like a p-series. So um, usually you want to use limit comparison test instead. Um, so it'll always happen there. So don't, don't waste your time. And a key indicator that you want to use the ratio test is that the series that you're looking at has factorials in a sub n somewhere. Not always the case, but often the case. And um, you actually use this all the time on power series when you're finding their interval and ratio of convergence. Uh, radius of convergence, which maybe you haven't heard of yet, but eventually you will, and when you do, you'll find yourself using a ratio test uh, every single time. So now we're going to do two examples. So the first example is the sum of n times two-thirds to the n. So n times two-thirds to the n, I'm going to use a ratio test because this is a ratio test video. So first thing I need to do is calculate rho. So rho is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of so it's the n plus first term, so I replace every n that I see with n plus 1. So that's going to be n plus 1, 2 thirds to the n plus 1. And then I divide by just the nth term. So that's n times 2 thirds to the n. And uh, one of the things I really like about this test is that a lot of things are just going to cancel out at this point. So I'm going to cancel, um, so I get the n plus 1 over n, that stays. And then 2 thirds to the n plus 1 over 2 thirds to the n is just two-thirds. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So if I then take this limit, um, as n approaches infinity, n plus 1 over n just approaches 1. Um, you could use L'Hopital's on that if you needed to. So this limit overall is actually just two-thirds. And now I write my conclusion. So um, since rho is two-thirds, which is less than 1, the summation that we're given um, converges by the ratio test. And that's it. So you calculate rho, you decide if it's greater than or less than 1. If it's equal to 1, you just have to use a different test. Um, and then you write your conclusion. So let's take a look at another one. <coughs> I don't know if my voice sounds funny, but uh, I'm, I'm dying with a cold here. Um, so here we have the summation of n to the n over 2 to the n times n factorial. So again, we're going to use a ratio test, so we have to calculate rho. So rho is going to be the limit as n approaches infinity of absolute value of um, the n plus first term. So we replace every n we see with n plus 1. That's a lot of replacements. n plus 1 to the n plus 1, 2 to the n plus 1, n plus 1 factorial. Now I'm supposed to divide by a sub n, but a really common thing to do to save some time is to multiply by the reciprocal of a sub n. So I'm actually just going to jump to that. So I'm going to do times 2 to the n times n factorial over n to the n close the absolute value. So uh, to simplify this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel a lot of things apart. So all the n plus 1's I'm going to kind of peel apart a little bit. So this is going to look a lot longer. So I get n plus 1 times n plus 1 to the n. Um, 2 to the n still there, n factorial is still there. 2 times 2 to the n times n plus 1 times n factorial and then times n to the n. So I just peeled apart everything that had an n plus 1. And by doing that I can see that the n plus 1's are going to cancel the n factorials are going to cancel, the 2 to the n's are going to cancel, and it leaves me with um, something that's a lot simpler. So I'm actually left with just 1 half 
and then n plus 1 to the n over n to the n. So I have two things raised to the nth power, um, and also that one half I can just factor out because that's not going to impact stuff. Well, it's not going to impact uh, taking the limit, it's going to impact the actual value of the limit. So I end up with one half, the limit is n approaches infinity, of the quantity n plus 1 over n all to the nth power. This, um, maybe you noticed immediately, is kind of a famous limit. So it's one half, the limit is n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the n. That you should probably have memorized by this point. That's actually just e, so I get um, e over 2. Um, I don't want to go into why that's e in this video. Uh, I probably have a video of why that's equal to e. I'll look for that and link it if I if I think of it. Um, so I've gotten e over 2, so I'm just going to write my conclusion. Since rho is e over 2, which is definitely greater than 1, I know that this series diverges, and that's by the ratio test. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, it's definitely worth memorizing that the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 plus 1 over n to the n is equal to e. Uh, it comes up all the time, especially with these ratio test problems. Um, so that's it. I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.